Hi, it's Taylor again from the UC Davis Arboretum Teaching Nursery. Today we're going to talk all about salvia and everything that you're going to love about them. I'm standing in front of what is our big aisle of salvia, so all the way back to the very back of the nursery is all the different types of salvia that we're going to have, plus more that are still coming on. We'll have well over 20 varieties, all different shapes, sizes, flower colors, and bloom types. In addition to the row that you just saw, we will also have California native salvia, starting with white sage and different Clevelandii types. Typically blue flowers on the Clevelandii and the white sage has a white flower. So, it's time for some fun facts on salvia. The common name is sage. We associate that with the smell. They all have a subtle difference in the way that the plant smells. Crush the leaf, take a whiff. They're excellent. You'll know it's a salvia when you are feeling along these stems here and you can feel the four different sides or the square stems of them. All salvia is really easy to maintain. It can handle just about any type of maintenance that you can throw at it, any type of pruning. If they get breaks to them, it's not a problem. They'll just recover and regrow from it. All salvia are going to appreciate being pruned back at some time during the year. Usually I'll wait till they're done flowering and then give them a hard haircut. So here's a great look at Salvia Gregii Flame. You can see that our nursery volunteers have pruned this up into more of a tree. And this is something that this plant can definitely handle, being a more of an evergreen type shrub. Um, you can see the flowers just starting to push out here for the fall. And that's one of the cool things about Salvia is that you can get them that bloom in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall. And I'm gonna have all sorts of varieties here at the cell that are gonna be blooming at all different times of the year. So there's something for everybody, even the butterflies, the hummingbirds, and the bees. So I'm kneeling down behind a different species of sage. This one's Salvia microphylla. The cultivar name is San Carlos Festival, and aptly named because these great magenta flowers kind of make you want to party. This is easily one of my favorite of all the salvias. This is Hot Lips. Hot Lips sage fighting the bees for the flowers right now. It's got this kind of cute little white flower with the red lips. That's pretty awesome. The smell is, is one, of, one of my favorites of all of the salvias. You can see how big they get. So four feet, almost four and a half feet when they're in full flower, and they can be five, six feet wide. So give it some room and really enjoy it. One of the interesting things about hot lip salvia is the fact that its flowers are gonna start out red, and then they're gonna fade into this white and red combination. This is Salvia ex Gemensis Sierra San Antonio. One of our most requested salvias. Um, they're really easy to take care of. You'll see that this one's got a, a two-tone flower here, this bicolor, that bloom really heavily in the spring and again really heavily in the fall, kind of slow down during the summer. Easy to maintain, easy to love. So just walking by the rest of these plantings and I see a salvia spathacea just popping its way up out of the middle of all the buckwheat and the mahonia that's over here. Um, more of a ground cover sage, can handle a really good amount of sun but can also be used in some pretty filtered shade locations. But you can see the different flower whorls that are in here and how the flowers just keep continually popping out of these calyxes that are around the stem. Here we're looking at the bottom half of Salvia spathacea. This is that one that we saw poking out of the uh, buckwheat that's flowering over there with the nice red flowers coming out of those whorls. The spathacea is more of a semi-evergreen ground cover sage, but it gets these really long flower stalks that we saw over there. And what happens is when they're done blooming and kind of brown out, I just cut them all the way back to the base. Once you do that, it'll fill in. It's here for most of the year, like I said, semi-evergreen. Um, several different flower seasons, spring and again in fall that you can enjoy. So this is Salvia apiana, or California white sage, also known as ceremonial sage. It's what they use in smudge sticks. This is one of our newly planted ones. It's small right now, but it's not going to stay like that. It's going to get much bigger. Look for it to be around six feet tall with these really long arching flower stalks that come out of it in the mid to late spring. 
This is one of our great native sages. This is Salvia Clevelandii Winifred Gilman. She also happens to be one of our Arboretum All-Stars, so it performs really well here in the Central Valley. Dark blue flowers that appear on these shish kebab flower stems into these big flower worlds. This is a great look at Salvia Leucantha Midnight, or Santa Barbara Sage. You can see it gets well to five feet tall. This is all this year's growth, because we cut this plant down every year, because in the winter time it's going to die back to the ground. You just cut it all the way back and it'll come back and do this every year. Very hardy. What you'll see is at the ends of all of these, uh, in another couple of weeks are going to be these big long stalks of purple and white flowers that the bees absolutely love. The hummingbirds are going to go nuts.